One of the most powerful features of Google Cloud Compute Engine is managed instance groups. Managed instance groups let you automatically scale your application out to handle those peak loads and automatically heal in case one of your instances go down. Today, I'm gonna to do a quick dive into managed instance groups and show you how easy it is to set one up for your application. On Google Cloud, an instance group is simply a group of virtual machines that can be managed as a single entity. A managed instance group is an instance group of identical VMs created based on an identical instance template. A managed instance group introduces a whole bunch of functionality, like auto-scaling for increasing the size of your group depending on the load, auto-healing for automatically replacing unhealthy instances, and multi-zone deployments for higher availability. Before I get into any of that, let's review the four Google Cloud resources that are associated with creating a managed instance group. First is the Instance Group Manager. This represents the managed instance group itself. The configuration of a managed instance group manager will include whether the instance group will be zonal or regional, and if regional, which zones to distribute the instances across. It'll also include the number of instances in the group and specify the second resource that we need, the instance template. The instance template is essentially the cookie cutter that the managed instance group manager will use to provision VMs in the group. The instance template will specify much of the same configuration that you might include in a standalone instance, like machine size, disks, networking settings, and more. You'll only need one template, but you do have the option of specifying multiple ones so you can do things like roll out canary builds of your applications to only a subset of your instance group. Next, we have a health check. A health check is only required if you want to enable auto healing on your instance group. That's when instances are automatically replaced when they repeatedly fail the health check. These health checks are the same ones a load balancer would use to direct traffic to healthy instances. For managed instance groups, it's used to decide whether the instance needs to be reprovisioned. When creating a health check, you can choose from five different protocols, and you can specify how rigorous you want the health check to be by adjusting the check interval and thresholds. If you plan on using auto-scaling, the last thing you'll need to have is an auto-scaling policy. The auto-scaling policy has all the configuration that determines under what circumstances new instances will be added to and removed from the group. It isn't required for a managed instance group, and it can be enabled and disabled after being added. Let's take a quick look at how we can set up all of these resources and have a managed instance group up and running in no time. In this demonstration, I'll be working from a new project with no existing resources and I'll have only the Compute Admin IAM role assigned. In the Google Cloud Console, you'll find an instance group under Compute Engine in the navigation menu. You can create everything you need for your managed instance group in one shot by clicking Create Instance Group. After giving it a snazzy name, the first thing you'll want to do is choose from these three choices, Stateless Managed Instance Group, Stateful Managed Instance Group, or Unmanaged Instance Group. Stateful and Stateless Managed Instance Groups are similar, except Stateful will let you preserve disks. Let's choose a stateless managed instance group. The next big choice you have to make is a location. A zonal managed instance group will provision VMs in one single zone and is fine for most use cases. But remember that a regional managed instance group will improve your availability by spreading your instances across several zones. When you choose multiple zones, it'll let you specify which zones in that region you want to distribute your instances across. Choose at least three to maximize availability. Next, let's specify an instance template. If the project doesn't have one, we can create it right here. For this example, I'll just create a simple template that will create an E2 medium with a Debian boot disk. Next, let's add an auto scaling policy in this section here. For this demonstration, I'll leave it with the default values. I'll dive deeper into all these settings like cooldown period and scaling controls in a later video. By default, it's gonna use CPU utilization at 60% as a metric that it uses to scale up but you can adjust that percentage or replace the metric with load balancer utilization or a stack driver monitoring metric. If you want, you can also add additional metrics by hitting add new metric. There's no one size fits all configuration here. It's gonna depend on your application's needs, but the default values will work for most use cases. One thing I will change is the minimum number of instances, because remember, this is a regional instance group. So I wanna make sure that I have at least one instance in each of the zones that I specified. Down here at the bottom is where we configure auto healing by specifying a health check. I don't have one yet, so I'll just create a new one. The default here is TCP. If your application needs something different, you have the options of these other protocols in this list. 
I'll select HTTP and specify the request path for the health page of my web application. Down here under health criteria is where we indicate how frequently the health check should run and at what point to consider the state of an individual instance as unhealthy. With these default values, the health check will run against each instance every 10 seconds. If it doesn't receive the response it's looking for in five seconds, it'll count that as a failure. Three consecutive failures means the health check state will be unhealthy and will only become healthy again after two consecutive successes. Once we're done here, we're ready to create our managed instance group with auto scaling and auto healing. You can click create down here or command line to see the corresponding gcloud commands. You can see here the four resources we're creating, the instance template, the health check, the instance group itself, and finally, the auto scaling policy. That's a really quick rundown, but there's plenty more you can do to get the most out of your managed instance groups. For example, enabling predictive auto scaling will feed your instance group's historical trends and current load into a machine learning model so that the auto scaler can anticipate auto scale events. This way, the auto scaler will behave more proactively and have machines ready to roll with less time waiting for machines to initialize. For more information on managed instance groups and all they have to offer, check out the link to the documentation below. In the next video, I'm going to discuss in more detail how you can make the most out of your managed instance groups by making sure you have an effective auto-scaling policy. See you then.